Welcome to video 8.1 of the Mastering Prime Faces video course. This is the first of four subsections which will cover Prime Faces AJAX functionality. In this video, we'll cover some basic Prime Faces AJAX functionality, including the ability to set values from a client view into controller fields without performing a round trip to the server, as well as the ability to invoke an action method within the controller without performing a classic form submit. To get started, let's first briefly describe what AJAX means. To perform an AJAX action within an application view refers to the ability of a view submitting values, updating view content, or invoking server actions without the requirement to perform a server round trip. AJAX relies upon JavaScript in the browser to work with the DOM and perform a call to the backend for submitting values or invoking functionality. It also relies on the backend classes to update field values and then return a response to the client, which initiates a partial page refresh. The idea being that only the required portions of a page are updated, not the entire page. Does that make sense? If not, please refer to the online documentation to gain a better understanding. There are plenty of documentations available. Prime Faces exposes AJAX behavior through many of its components by default. For instance, the command button will perform an AJAX request by default if it is clicked. One must explicitly disable this functionality by specifying a false for the AJAX attribute of the command button if one wishes to do so. Prime Faces exposes AJAX behavior to input fields via the use of the PAJAX tag, which is referred to as the AJAX behavior component in the Prime Faces documentation. This tag is an extension of FAJAX, providing more functionality than the standard. The AJAX behavior component exposes AJAX through actions upon events, listeners, and form submissions. For instance, let's imagine that we wish to create a form that was able to mirror the text that was being typed into the input text component. This is what we're going to do by embedding the PHX component within one of the input text components in the auto quote view. Let's take a look at this functionality by adapting our auto quote view to contain a new expression that we can use to display the content of the current form's first name field. Go ahead and add an EL expression inside the value attribute of output text and provide the ID of text mirror. Next, embed an AJAX behavior, the PAJAX tag, in the first name input text component as such. Add an update attribute and set its value to text mirror so that it matches the ID of the output text component that we just added to the view. Set the event attribute of the PAJAX tag to key up. Now go ahead and run the application. It seems that we do not have a way yet to navigate to the auto quote view since our managers have not yet decided where to add it. So type the URL to this view into the browser. Now when the page loads, type some text into the first name field and see the results mirrored above it. This is due to the AJAX behavior of submitting the field content to the bean when it changes and then updating the view using the partial page update. Pretty slick and easy to implement, right? Now that's all nice, but what if we wanted to invoke an action on the server when the text within an input field changed? This is easy to implement. Simply change the PAJAX tag to include a listener attribute and set it to the controller method that you wish to invoke. In this case, let's add a method named reflect text to the prime auto quote controller. Let's make it a public method that returns void, but simply prints out the contents of the first name field to the console. Go ahead and save and then run the program. Type a word into the field and then move out of that field and you'll see the text displayed in the admin log now. How easy was that? Now, we have an AJAX listener bound to an input text field and we did not even have to write any JavaScript code. Now let me show you how easy it is to AJAXify your entire form so that when you fill in the text and hit the submit button, the entire form is submitted without refreshing the page. Only portions of the page will be updated as per the specified component IDs. First, ensure that the P messages component in the view has an ID so that we can reference it for update when the action method is completed processing. Next, let's remove the output text component that we added to the view as this is just for testing. We can also remove the AJAX behavior component from the first name input text field. Now, all we have to do is remove the AJAX attribute from the command button and ensure that the update attribute specifies the ID of the component that we would like to update. 
in this case, the messages component. Fill in the form and then click Submit. Now you can see that the message is displayed, which provides feedback to the user. The Prime Faces command button is set to be AJAX enabled by default, so we don't even have to specify any attribute to enable this functionality. Now what happens if this is a long running process and the UI does not do anything for some time? For these cases, it is a good idea to include a progress message for the user to see what is happening with the processing task. Prime Faces provides you this for free with the AJAX status component. This component is very easy to use and flexible as well. What it does is provide an animated progress bar when an AJAX action is occurring. Let's go ahead and add the AJAX status component to the auto quote view. At the same time, let's also add a bit of client side validation to the form by setting all of the fields to be required. Go ahead and open the auto quote view and modify each of the prime faces input text component, adding a required equals true for each. Next, add a PAJAX status component to the top of the view directly within the form. As a child of the AJAX status component, add the facet name equals start and put the text working inside. There are three facets that can be set for the AJAX status component, those being default, start, and complete. Anything in the default facet will show up before AJAX activity begins. Objects or text within the start facet will appear once AJAX activity begins, and those in the complete facet will appear once the work is complete. Lastly, let's add a little time to the save quote method by opening up the prime auto quote controller and adding thread.sleep and passing 3000 to the method. This is normally not a good idea for production deployments, but it will be good to see our AJAX status message on the screen. Fire up the application and navigate to the auto quote view and enter some information into the form. Once we press the button, you should see the working message displayed. Now, this can also be an animated GIF, which is usually the case. I'm sure that you've seen the progress bar for showing in Hourglass before. We could do that as well. For now, this text just does the job. That's it for the first section on AJAX. In this video, we learned how to basically apply AJAX functionality to our application forms. In the next video, we'll take a look at applying listeners to our components.